All right, here we're going to look at some examples using the order of operations. And we're just going to also simplify some expressions, some numerical expressions involving fractions and decimals. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's start here with part A. We've got 2 minus 1 fourth plus 2 thirds times 2. But I'm going to write 2 as a fraction. I'm going to write that as 2 over 1. So again, we have to do our good old order of operations. Well, we've got subtraction, we've got addition, but then we have multiplication. So this is the, uh, the operation that we'll do first. So everything else to me is just going to drop right down. We've got our 2, we've got our minus, we've got our 1 fourth. And now I think, well, we've got a positive 2 thirds times a positive 2, so that's going to be a positive. And recall, to multiply fractions, we just multiply in the numerator. 2 times 2 will be 4, and then we just multiply in the denominator. 3 times 1 will be 3. So we have 2 minus 1 fourth plus 4 thirds. Well, yuck. Now we have just addition and subtraction, but we have it with fractions. Well, uh, again, we can just kind of go left to right in this case, but we have to get common denominators before, before we can add and subtract. So I'm thinking basically what's the, uh, you know, the least common multiple of 1, 4, and 3. I'm looking at the denominators. And again, what I do, I just pick out the largest denominator, which is 4. And I just start looking at multiples of 4. So uh, clearly 4 won't work. Uh, we can't have 4 as a common denominator. I look at the next multiple of 4, which is 8, and I think, would that you know, work as a common denominator? Well, no, because 3 won't go into it. Um, I look at the next multiple, which is 12, and I say, well, again, 1 doesn't matter. 4 clearly goes into it because it's a multiple. And I say, oh, yeah, 3 also will go into 12. So I need to make my denominator into a 12. So to do that, my first uh, fraction, my first term, 2 over 1, well, I would have to multiply the denominator by 12, which means I also have to multiply the numerator by 12. For my next fraction, I would have to multiply the denominator by 3, and then so also the numerator. And for 4 thirds, I would have to multiply the denominator by a 4 to get that uh, common denominator of 12. All right, so 12 times 2 is 24. Again, over 12, we have 3 over 12, and then 16 over 12. And again, now the arithmetic simply happens in the numerator. We do 24 minus 3 plus 16 all over 12. And then we'll reduce that if we can. So let's see, 24 minus 3 is going to be 21 plus 16 would be 37 over 12. And um, at this point, well, you know, 37 again I think also is a prime number. Um, so this fraction won't reduce. You could make it into a mixed number, but I think I'm just going to leave it right there.